Hi, my name's Tom. I'd like to show you guys how to uh, install bolt-in lumps on your intake ports for the inline Chevy six-cylinder hits. This works on the 194, 230, 250, and the 292 heads. It's a simple add-on that can add some good performance to your engine. Works on stock engines, works on performance engines, uh, and everything in, in between. What you'll need is some bolt-in lumps. This is the High Flow brand. And what it's made to do is bolt into the head to do is drill a hole the first one I guess you should drill is the 11 64th drill bit. You'll drill it all the way through the head. And you'll do that here. So you do that and then the second one you do is the, the 9 30 seconds. And that gives you the, the counter bore that you need for your bolt. So now you can see how my bolt will go clean through the head and it will be able to go up into the lump. The next thing you want to do is get your lump in place. Well, that's hard to show on that one with my fingers. You'll get your lump in place. You'll put it in. And you, I like to use a hammer. And just as a reference, I'll use this. And you'll get it into the port, and you'll press on it with that hammer handle. I like to use a wooden hammer handle for this. And you'll press on an angle and leverage that lump into the port. And once you do that, then you take a number 29 drill bit, a number 29 drill bit, which is the proper size for a number 8 screw, and you'll drill through this hole into the lump. So you'll punch it through there, go all the way through the lump. Next, you can take the lump back out, get it in your hand, and then you grab yourself a number 8 screw tap. And what you're going to do is that hole you've drilled, which I have right here, you'll tap that hole for the bolt. The next step is you'll take your cap screw and you'll insert it through the hole that you've made and you're able to actually screw your lump in. And you don't have to just brutally torque these down. They hold really well. One, one bolt is all it takes. You'll reach in the port and make sure it's lined up centered on the back side, inside your ports, and you'll just simply tighten it down. And what you'll do then, after that's done, your screw will stick out of your port. And you'll see it stick out a little bit. Now, I've already ground on this screw, so it tightens almost to the exact location it needs to be. But you'll take your same high-speed grinder, and you'll just very slowly grind the head of that bolt off. Next step you would need to do, or one more step you'll need to do, you'll take a half inch pipe plug and you will drill or uh, tap this out. A tip for, for tapping with a pipe plug or pipe tap, never back it off like you do a regular tap, just drive it in. Just drive, drive, drive. What you do want to do though is stop back it back out and you want to take your plug and put it in there and you want to test and make sure it doesn't go in too far so you screw it in and what you want to do is you'll look in here and you'll see that the pipe plug that I have here screws in and it actually stops at the bottom of that port and that's what you want to do with that pipe tap is you don't want to just run it right through there you want to screw it in keep testing your plug to make sure it tightens where you want it to stop. You don't want it to stick out any farther than necessary here. And you can use that and you can seal that up if you need to uh, with silicone or pipe tape if you need to. Now when you go to tighten down your head bolts, what I do with my head bolt, you can't torque it to the same torque as your normal head bolts. And I like to use a, a 3 8 impact extension like this and you insert it through your head and you'll tighten it down you'll torque that head bolt down only torque this head bolt to about 90 foot pounds of torque if you go to the normal torque rating of any other head bolts 
you'll find that this bolt, because it's so short, it doesn't have the the length to stretch like a normal bolt. It's really short. It might actually break off on you. So torque it to only about 90 foot pounds of torque. And this is what your port will look like once you're done with the bolt in it. You've torqued it down. Okay, well that's my, uh, I guess my show and tell for you guys on how to install the in bolt in lumps. Uh, they'll gain you at least 10% intake flow on any head over an open port head. Uh, I'd have to do some tests to find out what they do on a stock type port. Thank you.